Hey, what's going on, my friends? In this video, I want to share with you or show you, walk you through the steps on how you can sign up with TaskRabbit. I previously made a video introducing you guys to TaskRabbit, showing you a few different articles, reviews, uh, where people have mentioned how much money they've made on TaskRabbit. And there are people, there are individuals out there who have made over $150,000 off of this gig platform, this gig app. Yes, $150,000. I think I titled the video $100,000 just because I wanted it to seem more realistic. I figured the higher I go, the less people are going to be like, well, you know, that's possible. But it is. And, you know, I can say firsthand, I've made money on TaskRabbit. I haven't made $150,000 on TaskRabbit. However, um, you know, I've made over $50,000. I can tell you that for sure. Um, so, I, I promise you guys, you can make good money if you create an account here on TaskRabbit and, you know, build up your profile, build up your your presence on this platform. And, you know, there are different things you can do to help you with um, increasing the chances of getting hired more often, which will, of course, improve the likelihood that you'll make more money, which will help, uh, which will make it easier for you to uh, attain that $1,000 or $100,000 or the $150,000, or maybe you just want to reach that $50,000 mark I threw out or less. Maybe you're just looking for an extra $20,000 a year. Well, TaskRabbit absolutely can help you with, you know, uh, uh, achieving those goals. Um, again, I'll, I'll be making more videos diving into this platform, showing you, sharing some of the best trip, uh, tips and tricks that I believe will help you with positioning yourself to make good money here on TaskRabbit. I mean, there are so many different services that you can provide. Um, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be that you're only doing even just these general labor type of tasks that you see, like moving, um, mounting TVs, assembling, you know, a table or a desk, cleaning, um, but there are other services. You can do errands. You can be someone's personal assistant. You can help with photography, with uh, video, with uh, uh, marketing stuff, with um, data entry. There are so many different you know categories that they provide here on TaskRabbit that, again, you can provide your services to people that need help and you can make money. You can make good money. Um, I think people have this concept in their mind about you know, gig apps being something just to make an extra, you know, hundred dollars or something. No, like you can literally start your business utilizing these apps, use a lot, utilizing these platforms. Um, and like I said, I'm going I, with this new channel, make, manage, grow money. I'm going to try to dive more into these type of apps because I know firsthand that you can make really good money, um, using them. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make some other videos talking a little bit more about my past, but I was able to step away from the corporate world doing corporate sales. Uh, my, my last job I had as a director of sales, I technically was let go with a video for another day. But, um, you know, I had signed up with TaskRabbit a year earlier and, you know, something was calling me towards it. And, you know, I, I love being, you know, self-employed. I love being my own boss. I love being able to create my own schedule. And so, you know, I signed up with the app, you know, a year earlier and didn't use it until after I was let go from my job. And, you know, sure enough, uh, things just started to pick up and I, I ran with it. And, uh, you know, I passed up other opportunities where I could have made over $100,000 a year guaranteed minimum um, and, and, and essentially passed up those opportunities to try to be my own boss and do my own thing. And, you know, I'm not necessarily how do I say, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I work, you know, you, you got to work, um, or at least depending on the services you provide. My, my top service is moving, as you can see right here, help moving. Um, which means I'm not sitting on my butt. The job that I passed up where I'd be making, you know, minimum of six figures, uh, would have, you know, I would be sitting at a desk and sitting on my butt all day comfortably, I guess you can say. Um, but I just didn't want that at the time. And again, a video for another day. I know you guys are here to learn about how you can sign up with TaskRabbit. Um, but I just wanted to give you kind of a little back story to kind of lead up to this and, 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 and help show you guys or, or, you know, give you, uh, 
some sort of confidence as to why you should try this app, you know, and 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 and, and give it a shot as you um, try to start your own business or try to improve, uh, increase your your income, your earnings, because um, this is another way that you will absolutely be able to make money if you you know do some of the steps that I recommend, um, and and others that have already used this app been on this platform that have made um, money if you guys are watching still leave a comment down below with suggestions as i um continue to talk about this app if you've made good money leave a comment let other people know um i know some people are like whoa you know i don't want more competition and da 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 nah, i'm not worried about that <clears throat> the goal of this channel is to help others help empower you guys educate you um get you more familiar with the options and what's available out there and ways that you can make good money um, really quickly as we look down here and you can see all of the different places, all of the different cities and states that uh, have TaskRabbit and they're in other countries as well. So if you're not in America and you're in the United Kingdom, Canada and France and Germany and Spain, Portugal, Italy, uh, they are available in those areas as well. So now that we know a little bit about TaskRabbit and, you know, again, some of the services that you can get help with. There are tons of different services that aren't even listed here. Um, I want to make sure you guys know how you can sign up and start to make good money here on TaskRabbit. So in the top right hand corner, it says become a tasker. We're going to simply click that become a tasker button. Now it says earn money your way. Let's move me over here as if this is me right over her shoulders. <laughs> um, earn money. Am I looking the right way? There we go. If only I can read it and like I'm looking at it. So earn money your way. See how much you can make tasking on TaskRabbit. In Boston, choose a category. If I was helping with moving, you can make $54 an hour. Do the math, my friends, $54 an hour. I think, I mean, I don't know what the federal minimum wage is, you know, $15, $10, $11. I can't remember. Um, $7, $8. Wasn't it somewhere like that before? I don't, I know it's low. And it's not remotely close to how much money you can make an hour with with some of these gigs here on TaskRabbit. And this is what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. Yes, you will have to move um, and, and get off your butt, work up a sweat. Um, it's going to be, you know, there might be some tough jobs you come across, but you will make good money if you aren't lazy, if you are willing to work hard and work, uh, you know, multiple hours. The more hours you work, the more money you can make. But again, look at all of the different, you know, services, the different categories that are available here on TaskRabbit. And, you know, we can get an idea of how much money you can make if you are in a, a prime city like Boston. Now, this is the other thing to keep in mind. Boston is going to probably pay more than many other areas and many other cities because it's Boston, you know, rent and, you know, expense. Things are expensive out here. Um, we, they call it tax Massachusetts for a reason. Um so keep that in mind as you look at these rates and you're like, well, I can make $54 an hour. It might be different if we go to, I don't know, let's see what Atlanta is. Do you see what I mean? It drastically dropped off because of, you know, it's, it's factoring and considering your location. But if you are someone who is here in Boston, which is where I am, um, you could make $54. If we are, let's, let's go down to, um, uh, what, what did I just see? El Paso, El Paso. Let's go down to Texas it drops down to $28. So again, the rates are going to vary depending on where you are in the country and what city you are. Um, and also depending on the particular category that you're providing, moving is going to be a higher paying category because it is a tough job. It is strenuous labor work that you're going to have to do. And you know, the better movers, like I, I've worked for some of the best moving companies in the in the country. I mean, Gentle Giant Moving Company is probably one of the more premium, you know, quality moving companies um, in, in, the, in the country, especially here in Boston. And, uh, you know, I've had the opportunity to work for them and, and learn from them and learn from other moving companies. So my rate can be high and, and the reviews justify it. People, people will say, hey, you know, despite what I had to pay for him or, or you pay for what you, what you get, you know, and people want to pay uh, for something like moving, they're going to pay a high, higher rate because they want someone experienced and someone that's going to take care of their belongings, things that they've, you know, their most precious things. It might be something passed down in the family. It might be something that they've worked so hard for to, to save their money towards and bought. Um, 
they don't want it to be broken. So they're going to invest in a good quality mover, a professional mover. Um, so, you know, it's things like that you have to keep in mind. But again, if we look at other services, let's go to cleaning. It's not going to be the same as something like moving. That went down to $19. Again, let's go back up to Boston where it's going to be more, but it won't be what we saw for moving. It's $46 here in Boston. Now, these aren't necessarily the always going to be the starting points either. Sometimes I think this is kind of like that middle. Uh, this might be the starting point. I'm not exactly sure how they're determining this. Let's see what this little thing says. So that says estimate earnings are based on average rate in locations similar to yours. Actual earnings may vary with your rates, category type, location, demand, and other factors. And that's pretty much what I was saying, that second part there. But the first part to keep in mind is the estimated earnings. Uh, the estimate earnings are based on average rate in locations. So in Boston, the average rate of a mover up here is making $46 an hour, which I'm, I didn't realize they're making that much money, to be honest. Um, but if you can make $46 an hour cleaning and essentially creating your own schedule, being your own boss, why wouldn't you, you know, now maybe you don't like cleaning. So there we go. That's why you want it. But that's why you would consider finding something else that you do. Maybe you like doing automotive work. Maybe you like doing arts and crafts, uh, computer help, cooking and baking, data entry, decorations, delivery. I mean, you can see tons and tons of different services, different categories that uh, they offer here on TaskRabbit that you can provide help with and make really good money. Okay, my friends, I'm, I'm hoping you guys are getting me. I hope I hope you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth and we can continue with, uh, you know, going through this application because you can see there is good money to be made here on TaskRabbit. So to get started, we're going to create our account. You're going to add your email. You're going to add your first name, your last name, your telephone number, and of course, your zip code. Now that we've filled this out with your email address, your name, telephone number, uh, your password, as well as your zip code, you're just going to do create an account. So now that our account has be, been uh, created, you know, next steps, it says here, you do want to download the Tasker app and then you're going to sign into your um, your account. Um, then you're going to complete and submit your profile for verification. And then once it's approved, you're going to start earning money. Now, the way you are going to book your gigs and um, essentially use TaskRabbit is going to primarily be through your phone. Um, of course, you can use the computer, a desktop, um, log into the port, um, the website and whatnot, do things from here as well. But generally speaking, your phone is going to be like your your everything. It's it's your business, essentially. It's a way that you are going to run this new business. Um, so you absolutely want to have a phone that, you know, if it if it if it's kind of always breaking down, shutting down or, you know, if it has viruses, if it's um, just a horrible reception, it might not be you know, this might be a little tricky and you might want to get something that's just reliable enough and you are connected to the internet where if someone books you, you don't miss out on those opportunities and things like that. Um, but to go to your profile now, I mean, let's see. So now this is saying the next things you might want to do is you're going to build your profile. You're going to verify the eligibility task, pay a registration fee, which I do want to mention right now. They've actually increased it, it looks like, because I'm pretty sure when I first did it, it was only $20. So they do have a $25 registration fee. I believe they use it to kind of run your background check and things like that. Um, you, another important thing to note is if you have a, you know, a, a crazy background, criminal background and stuff, I don't know to what extent it means you're going to be disqualified. But, you know, if you've if you've done some crazy things and whatnot in your past, I understand you may have changed and grown up and are a better person or whatever it might be. Circumstances, you know, have changed. Um, unfortunately, you still may not qualify for TaskRabbit. They do have to vet out and, and assure their customers that the people they bring on to this platform are people that, you know, can be relied on and trusted. And, you know, they don't want to tell people, hey, you know, you can use our app to find someone to get help and br bring them into your house and not actually do a background check, not actually look into the person that they are, 
you know, basically suggesting or offering as a uh, service provider. Um, so that is something else to know um, as you jump into creating your TaskRabbit account as well. But again, I can't say to what extent, you know, you'd be disqualified if you've, you know, if you did one little thing, um, it might not be enough to penalize you and prevent you from, you know, moving forward with creating an account and uh, making some money here. But, um, you know, I would say shoot your shot. Worst case scenario, they deny you. And then you keep it moving. You keep grinding and you, you look for other opportunities. You continue to watch my channel here and look for other ways to make money. Um, but for those of you who um, can move forward, you do have $25. Um, you're not too worried about the background check stuff. Um, you know, all I did was I clicked on the task rabbit home button in the top left hand corner. Now we're back on the home page, but now we're actually, we logged in. Now you can see the top um, bar is a little different. Um, get $10, book a task, my tasks an account. And we're just going to come over to account. You can see now here is our account that we just created. You got our name, um, our email address, our phone number, our area code, and all we're going to do is press edit to update our profile. If everything in here looks good, you'll leave it as is. You might come in here and click on your um, upload a, a, an image of you. Um, and again, I'll create another video just sharing some of my best practices, my thoughts on the best way to approach some of these different categories and things. But I just want to show you guys, give you a little quick overview and just run through some of these different tabs and whatnot really quickly um and here you you know and you're just going to fill everything out that is asked of you um you know and i use this tasks for personal task business task personal and business we're going to say it's for both um although for you it might just be personal maybe it's business i can't say um but we'll i'll say both in this case we'll do save and you know if we want to come over here to notifications we can turn them on depending on how your personal preference is you're going to come to billing information and add your credit card here. And it says payment method will update for all tasks, including the ones currently open. And, uh, you know, this is primarily for um, uh, uh, those of you who um, are going to also use this to uh, book other taskers. So I've actually used TaskRabbit not only to make money, but I've gotten help with a few things from other people on the platform as well. Um, so you add your credit card information here. And I think when you do the $25 um, registration fee, I think this is how they charge you as well. So you will need a credit card. A debit card may work. I can't say for sure. Um, probably as well. Um, come over to account balance. We can see no balance. Cancel tasks. But essentially, you will, at this time, want to, um, as I was saying before, download the TaskRabbit app that we saw on the other page um, once it confirmed the account was kind of created and whatnot. The app is going to, again, allow you to move forward with this registration process and signing up with TaskRabbit and actually booking your gigs and things of that nature. Um, so. And of course, you're going to want to check your email inbox for um, a, an email from TaskRabbit um, with respect to uh, creating your account and moving forward as well. So um, definitely wanted to make sure I made this video showing you the easy, simple steps to create your account on TaskRabbit and help you with starting to make more money, help you with starting your business. Again, too, too often people think of these gig apps as just gig apps and ways to make $100 more on the side. Yeah, you can make $100 more um, or you can make $100,000 more. Um, it's completely up to you and and how much you want it, your capabilities, how hard you're going to work. And, um, you know, like I said, you won't be able to make this money if you don't try. There are so many different ways out there to make good money. Some of them, unfortunately, will require you to work your butt off. Yes, in 2021, you might have to get off your butt and work hard, work up a sweat, get a little dirty. I'm sorry to say that. Unfortunately, not everyone, uh, you know, can can do the sitting on the beach thing, drinking a margarita. And I love referring to that, you know, example, because that's what everyone wants to do. And that's all you see on Instagram and all these gurus and this, that and the other. And it's like, come on. Yes, it's nice. It can happen. It's going to happen. But you're going to have to put in some work and work your way towards it. And this is one way that uh, will allow you to get from point A to point B. 
um, you know, platforms like TaskRabbit, which I'm a big fan of and definitely want to just encourage you guys to give it a shot. Don't, you know, check out my other video that I made. I'll add a link to it down below so you can see how much money people are making on this app because there's money to be made out there, my friends. And, you know, just because you're doing physical general labor work doesn't mean you can't make a good living. You know, check out my website, adamhelper.com, if you want to see my other business, um, you know, because I, I, I make a good living. I'm happy and life is good. And uh, I, part of that is to uh, to credit to apps and gig platforms like TaskRabbit. You know, now, again, it's you you're going to be the one that's going to come down to you're going to be the one that has to work hard and work up the sweat. But, you know, if you can utilize platforms like TaskRabbit the correct way, then, you know, the rest is history. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I, I, I will include a link down below to TaskRabbit so that you can, um, you know, check it out yourself and consider signing up and applying, creating your own account so that you can start making money and, uh, you know, continue moving uh, forward in your financial independence journey as you continue to strive towards financial freedom. And on that note, I got to keep it moving. But you guys already know. If you uh, thought this video was helpful, like this video, give it a nice little thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below letting us know if you've uh, made money on TaskRabbit before. Maybe you're considering considering it or, you know, you're, you'd rather work on another app, another gig app that you think is better. Let us know about it. Comment down below because this is what we're trying to do. Build up a little community, help uh, empower others and and we can all move forward together. So now on that note, I'm going to keep it moving, but you guys already know, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.